What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, Jonathan Majors, in his situation, I don't know if it's looking better or worse. And I want to explain that because with Mr. Jonathan Majors, we know that allegedly he was uh, arrested despite calling the police first. That's what I've heard, right? He called the police first. Him and his girlfriend had got into an argument, I believe, about some other woman texting him. But he actually ended up going to jail because once they came there, they saw what they felt were visible injuries to his uh, girlfriend, who I believe is also Caucasian, right? But now, I, the defense, his attorneys have released this text message, okay? And um, it, it says this. It's kind of hard to read, but I'll read it out for you. Please let me know you're okay when you get this. They assured me that you won't be charged. They said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. I'm so angry that they did. And I'm sorry you're in this position. We'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. I only just got out of the hospital. You'll call me when you're out. I love you. So... That is what is going on there, okay? Here's here's something I want to talk about, though. It looks bad. It looks bad. It looks fishy. And number one, looking at Jonathan Majors, I mean, this guy was in the Creed movie, right, as a boxer. So he's not a little guy. He's a... He's a big guy. I mean, or bigger guy. All right. So now this white lady who looks very small in comparison to him, nobody's going to be able to justify why you as a man, just think what I'm saying. Listen, what I'm saying here. Why is it that you as a man have this ability? She grabbed your phone. Did you have to punch her or have to hit her? I'm, I'm, again, I'm not saying that, that, that what it, whatever happened, I don't know. But that's how they're probably going to take it. All right? They're probably going to take it like that. Like, why did you have to have any visible, visible injuries? And so the fact that that message shows that, it shows a few things to who I believe would be the opposition. Number one. You can't control yourself. Number two, you're abusing this little white lady. She's taking accountability because she tried to grab your phone. You and her had to have a physical fight. It just doesn't look good. There's no way around it. I mean, and so and this is what I want to talk to guys about because it's so important. For us as a group of men. Firstly brothers. I want to say something. People in your life. Are going to do things to you. That you don't like. They're going to do things to you. That you don't appreciate. But I I want. I want want to know something. I want to tell you something brother. How you react to the situation. This is something that black men really got to. Really got to focus on okay. Because nobody's going to. Nobody's going to want to hear like if you have a woman, especially she's white, why she got uh, visible injuries and you a big old six foot three, 250 pound linebacker looking brother, all right? Nobody wants to hear that, bro. Especially if you're prominent and this is what black men have to get over. Like it's one thing when you're able to get into dominant society and date, you know, non-black women and it's okay. But man, when you make a mistake, they don't want to to hear it bro I'm, I'm i'm here to tell you that right now when you make a mistake they don't want to hear it and so you got to understand this as a brother 
when you're moving up the food chain in life, that man, you can't be afforded to fight nobody. Nobody. If she's a woman, I know I know you're gonna like this. Let her whoop your ass. Because you got a lot to lose, brother. And this is what it is. You're gonna have a lot of things to lose. So it, 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 instead of that being the case, look at where you're going. Look at where you're at. Look at where your life is. Look at how hard you fought to get there. The last thing you want to be known as is a woman that abuses women, as a man that abuses women, especially when you've worked so hard to have your stuff out there. And what I mean by your stuff, I'm talking about your, your image, you know, posing for Essence or Ebony and all this stuff, you know, and again, he is the black man that already has a white girlfriend. Black women are already fine, used to be somewhat attractive. Now you have a white woman. This is going to end up happening. In the black space, you're going to start losing support. This is what black men got to understand. This is what happens, right? When you start losing support from the black space, I know y'all don't really care about that, right? But it's the only space you're going to have for some kind of support. Because on the other side, they definitely going to take up for the people. For sure. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. And when that starts to happen, it's, 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 it's problematic. And I, I beseech every black man out there, to if you're going to deal with somebody, I don't care what race they are. But at least they shouldn't be grabbing your phone and stuff like that. Because I hear so many brothers talk about, you know what, I can't deal with black women no more. I can't deal with somebody no more. Okay, then why is that woman grabbing your phone, bro? Such that, you know, you feel like you need to have a physical conversation with the woman because she's grabbing your phone. So now your career is in jeopardy because of somebody grabbing your phone. And it's not going to look good. And these messages don't look good. It seems like he's abusing. And I'm just saying that from a, uh, from what I read, that he's done this before. That's how the messages look. Like she's taking accountability for him whooping on her behind. And that the other things that people are having saying about him, about him being abusive, it starting to, to the untrained eye. It looks like. He's done these things before. I'm not saying he has, but it it, 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 it it wasn't a good message to put out there. I love you. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. So it's like, okay, what kind of guy are you? All, you know, what kind of man are you off the camera? Are you as abusive as these folks say you are? So if that's the case, the brother needs to find out how he needs to deal with himself. He's young. He's making a lot of money. He's getting ready to blow up. The brother need to check himself. Even if he's innocent, he need to, how he respond to things, he need to check himself because the dominant society not going to want to hear. And nobody in Hollywood wants to hear that, oh, I was defending myself when you a big 200-something pound black man. That's how it work. And we got to be honest about that. If you're going to deal with white women, smaller white women or whatever and you a big old black man they don't want to hear why the white woman end up is, is, is messed up bro. it's not going to work so y'all brothers have to really be careful when you out here interracially dating other groups of people because you got less room forever and I'm not saying that you should come to the black community and be beating on everybody and all that I'm not saying that at all but you got less room for error as long as you know that because these other people are not playing with you like that, bro. It's not going to go down. So as long as you know it's not going down, you'll be all right. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. We're out.